How are you doing today? Whether or not he knew, Anthony Rota's time was running out. Will you be sticking on as Speaker of the House? We'll have to see about that, and I'm sure you'll hear more later on today. In the end, Rota had little choice. Do you still have confidence in Anthony Rota as Speaker? The pressure was building. I'm sure he's reflecting now on how to ensure the dignity of the House going forward. Rota's own party members urging him to go. And I think the Speaker should listen to members of the House and step down. I think it's time for him to do the honorable. What happened was completely unacceptable. With the writing on the wall, Rhoda stood up in the House. I must step down as your speaker. I reiterate my profound regret for my error. That error inviting this 98-year-old war veteran to the Ukrainian president's address and honoring him. He's a Ukrainian hero, a Canadian hero. And later emerged that veteran, Yaroslav Hunka, served with the Ukrainian SS unit on the side of Nazi Germany. This man is not a hero. He is a monster and he had no business being here. After Rhoda's resignation, the opposition still furious. Has there ever been a greater diplomatic embarrassment in the history of our country? Conservatives demanding an apology from the prime minister. Why is he hiding under a rock? <laughs> Trudeau wasn't in the House, leaving his House leader to fend off opposition attacks over her effort to erase Parliament's celebration of Hunka from the official record. A descendant of Holocaust survivors distorting the Holocaust. You should be ashamed of yourself. While the member opposite tries to personally attack me, I will actually stay focused. It was the Speaker who decided to invite this individual. As for Rhoda, all he can do now is walk away. The important thing is that Parliament continues in democracy. Democracy lives and works in Canada. That's what comes above all else. So, Ashley, Rhoda said his resignation is effective tomorrow at the end of the day. So what comes next? Well, Adrian, the House has to select a new speaker, and the Prime Minister has to find a way to restore Canada's reputation. Opposition parties say that Justin Trudeau needs to publicly apologize to everyone hurt. And part of the public and the political conversation right now is around if the vetting process should change to ensure that something like this never happens again. All right. Ashley Burke in Ottawa, thank you.